continues next right here on SoapNet. So, are you ready for the big date? I thought it was just dinner. Well, you never know where that could lead. Uh-huh. Well, how was your flight? Well, I made it back to Phoenix in one piece. I'll bet Jennifer was glad to have you back. She is. I'm not. Livy. I'm serious, Mom. I should be there with you. I'm fine. Oh, you mean like you are every year on the day of Aunt Grace's death? Look, honey, it's sweet of you to worry about me, but it makes me feel so much better knowing that you're safe. Why don't I believe that? Look, I, um, I've got to run, but, but, uh... I'll talk to you later. Okay. Bye, Mom. You call me tomorrow. I will. All right. Bye-bye. Bye. Dr. Chin to cardiology. Dr. Ronald Chin to cardiology. Hi, handsome. Hey. One more patient and I'm all yours. Oh, music to my ears. I already made a reservation. Really? Mm -hmm. Mario's? Mm-hmm. Corner table in the back. Oh, you read my mind. Hello, Katie. Busy night? Uh, crazy. And that doesn't help having difficult patients. Anything I can do? Actually, Lucy has it under control. Lucy as in mm -hmm. co. Mm -hmm. Cubicle three. I never should have come here. I knew it. I want to go home. You've had a major seizure. I'd like to keep you overnight. It's, it's so cold here. Oh, uh... Here. And Hobbs. I, I miss Hobbs. Well, of course you do. Uh, I'd love to see a picture of Hobbs. I, I would love to see a picture of his furry little face. Could I? Oh, oh sure you would. <laughs> he, he's a tabby. Showed up at my door one day and he never left. Hmm. You know, I, I think he's really smiling. Don't you think he's smiling? Oh, In yeah. The picture, he's smiling. Oh, if you think that's cute, get a load of this one. You weren't gonna leave town without telling me goodbye now, were you, partner? Thought you was locked up. But you never heard of bail, fool? What you want, man? Don't ask me what I want, punk. You know what I want. There, now we square, right? What's going on in there? Everything all right? Um, yeah, I hope so. I mean, at least I think she's gonna be okay. Well, who is she? Leah. Um, this woman I, I met in the park today, she offered me some coffee cake and we were talking and then she had this horrible seizure. Epileptic? Yeah, and apparently she didn't take her medication this morning and so anyway, when she came out of it, she was absolutely terrified. She didn't even want to come here to the hospital at all. But you were able to calm her down? Yeah, I guess I was. Huh. I guess so. It's a good thing you were there. <laughs> That's what I keep telling her. Well, I see you've met the new guy. Uh, no. Well, not officially. Um, I'm Lucy Coe. Ball. Lucy Coe Baldwin. Ian Thornard. Mm -hmm. And I know who you are. How do you know that? Okay. Well, what... I'm ready to go. Oh, great. Lucy. Hi. Hi, Eves. What are you doing in the ER? Nothing's wrong, I hope? No, no, not, not at all. Actually, I was just here... Uh, help, helping a friend. Oh. Uh, I'm gonna go. Obviously, you two have somewhere to go, so I'm gonna head out. Nice well, to see you. We're just, um, we're just going to dinner. Would you want to come with us? No. Heav heavens, no. That you know, you want to be alone and everything. Oh no, 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 no. The more the merrier, really. That is very sweet, but no, thank you. It's Mario's. Oh, I haven't been to Mario's in so long. Oh, I know <laughs> how you love their linguine and clams, to say nothing of the pizza margarita. Well, these talks make me hungry. Why don't we all go? 
I think that's the best idea I've heard all week. What do you say, Liz? Uh, I'm not going to be a third wheel. I'll only go if Lucy goes. Okay, I'm... I'm in. Just the psych evaluation for the patient six. Okay, I'll get that to Dr. Raines. Thank you. <laughs> All right, well, it wasn't that funny. Well, I thought... <laughs> five, five, you short a couple of C's. You know what happened to runners who try and play me? Hey, man, it ain't my huh? fault your clients don't pay up. Well, isn't it? You let me know what Valerie is, and I'll let you off the hook. Man, I don't know what Valerie is. Man, don't try and play me. You helped her get away. And? She was smart enough not to tell me where she was going. You better not be lying to me. I ain't lying to you. Time will tell. Meanwhile, you better check that pretty little girlfriend of yours. What the hell are you talking about, man? You know the rich blonde? Pretty little neck. You better stay away from her. You hear what I'm saying? Huh? Take it easy, bro. You just better make sure she don't talk. Are you crazy, man? At least ten people saw you put a knife to her throat. Yeah, true that. True but that. according to my attorney, Mr. J.P. Oswald, victim's testimony is always the most damaging, you dig? And her family got mad, Lou. You know what I'm saying? Anything happened to her, man, that make you disappear like that. This ain't up for debate, partner. You shut her mouth, or I'm gonna shut it. Well, 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 look who's back. <laughs> it's gonna take more than a simple appendectomy to keep me down. Oh, I don't doubt that. But uh, getting back to work so soon? I get bored easily. So, I uh, gather your house guests must have already left? My house guests, yes. She left this morning. And she's right back where she belongs. Good evening. Hi, it's Collins, and there will be four of us. Great, right this way, please. Oh, thanks. Hello. Oh, over there. Well, just figures that Kevin and Ian would get hung up at the last minute. Yeah, right. I'm sure they'll be along any moment. Right. Thank you. Well, I'm I'm glad you're here. I I wouldn't want to be all by myself. You know, restaurants generally are filled with couples and family. Um. So, uh, what are you gonna have? Oh, you have those Oh, you know, uh, what I'm having is second thoughts. I I really don't think this no, is such no, a good Lucy, idea. No, no, please don't go. Please don't go. Listen. What if, well, gosh, what if Dr. Know-it-all shows up here and I'm all by myself? You know, Dr. Thornhart seems like a decent enough guy. Right. And I am thrilled that you get along so well with him, which is exactly why you're staying. I can't. No, no buts, Lucy. Please. Look, I'm gonna go to the restroom. Can, can I trust you to be here when I get back? I, I, I will be here. You can trust me. I'll take that when you're ready. Could you please wrap this last piece of oh, Of Thank course. You. Table. She had to leave rather unexpectedly, and uh, I'd like to pay her tab. Um, I think that this should more than cover it. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank you. Oh, boy. Well, they're still not here yet, huh? No. Oh! There they are! Oh. I am so sorry to make you ladies oh, wait so long. That's okay. How's your patient? Yeah. She's fine. A minor crisis. I talked her through it. Good. Uh, Leah? Is she doing okay? You think she's gonna be all right? She settled in. Oh, yeah, yeah. And she can't stop talking about you. Oh, well, she's a very nice lady. I'm just glad I was there to help. There's two of us. What's good here? 
try um, everything. It is everything because Doc is buying, I gather. <laughs> uh, first I heard of it. I knew you'd call once you figured out how much you'd miss me if you left. Look, would you just just be quiet for a second? Mm -hmm. I need to tell you something. Ooh, sounds serious. Cedric came by. Cedric? I thought he was in jail. Yeah, so did I. I guess, I guess his boys took up a little collection. He's out on bail? Yeah, and he's not too happy. So I guess now would be a good time for you to go join your folks over in Europe. You're welcome. Mm-hmm. Bye-bye. Wow. You really are back, aren't you? And I want everyone to know it. You know, it's funny. Most people in your position that is, people whose uh, professional credibility has taken a major nosedive, would probably want to lay low for a while. Mm. I'm not most people. No, you most definitely are not. In fact, I think it's about time that certain other people realize that. <clears throat> so do you always sock it away like that? No, no, no. I usually drink martinis. <laughs> Hey, what can I say? I'm in the mood to celebrate. And what exactly are we celebrating? Well, for one, it's our first date. May there be many more. And two, I haven't had this much fun in a long, long time. It feels, uh... Feels great. That the kid is a goat. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Lucy, do you want some more garlic bread? No, thank you. What's the matter? You barely touched your food. Oh, well, my eyes always are much bigger than my stomach. Oh, my gosh, Victor just walked in. Well, he sure did. Oh, hi. Hello, what a pleasant surprise. <laughs> uh, are you here to pick up some pasta for you and Mary? Uh, just for me. I'm afraid the missus has to work tonight. Well, then you just have to join us. Pull up a chair. Well, I'd love to. May I? Thank, Thank you. you. What a fabulous stroke of luck. Look who's here. <laughs> I was... Sorry about having to eat all by myself, and I get to eat with three of my very favorite people. And with you, sir. Victor, this is Dr. Ian Thornhart, and this is Kevin's father, Victor Collins. Delighted, Dr. Thornhart. Pleasure's mine. Call me Ian. Uh, do I detect just a trace of Irish? Belfast. Belfast. I remember. I was on... I was undercover there as a leprechaun with an overactive growth hormone. <laughs> And, uh, how did your paths happen to cross? Oh, uh, Dr. Thornhart, well, our paths crossed at, uh, the park a, a few days ago. And by the way, you were going to tell me how you knew me from before or something. I, I saw you at the nurse's ball. I heard your speech. I was very impressed. Thank you. What? Something I said? No, no, um, not at all. It just reminded me of someone. And obviously, Chris is not having any trouble forgetting, is he? Another one of my fans. What is it about you that people find so offensive? It's called guilt by association. They need someone to blame for what my... They need someone to blame for what Julie Devlin did to them. I'm the only one still around. Well, that stinks. Hmm, exactly. Let's just, uh, have fun. Sounds good to me. <laughs> Did Lucy tell you that she happens to be on the hospital board? Is that right? Mm-hmm. Woman of many talents. And she has some wonderful ideas for GH, too. I'd like to hear about them sometime. I will tell you sometime, but not now. It's really not a good time. I need to go. No, Lucy, you don't. Forget about him. I can't. I need to go. Now, Victor, I'm sorry you didn't get to eat. Could you drive me home, perhaps? Of course. Thank you all for um, putting out the effort. You know, today was just a little too much. It was nice seeing we you. We understand, Lucy. Thank you, Eve. Ta. Sure. Goodbye, everybody. Nice meeting you. Nice meeting you. Thanks, Victor. Yeah. <clears throat> you know, they got the right idea. What do you say we uh, blow this joint? Head over to Luke's, get the dance floor cut loose. I think we should call it a night. You are plenty loose enough. Call it a night? What are you talking about? Come on, the night's still young. 
We are going home, and I'm driving. A woman who takes charge, I like that. Home it is, if you insist. There you go. Uh, right. <laughs> Don't even think you're taking that in the car. Oh, look, I uh, may be a little tipsy, but I'm not stupid. Excuse me. With my compliments. Enjoy the rest of your evening. Damn him. Well, at least it was a good bottle. Just when Lucy was starting to get comfortable. She's gonna be okay. How do you know? She's a survivor. Yes, she is. But a body. Home sweet home. Yeah, and that's where <laughs> I'm going. No. 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 Thank you. No. For a lovely evening. No, no. What's your hurry? Oh, okay. No. Because it's late and I'm tired. Tired? Come on. You need to take vitamins. You need vitamin shot. Little love vitamins. Yeah, somehow I don't think that's gonna happen. Why don't you have a seat? Why don't I just whip us up a few martinis? This date is over, Doctor. I'm going home. Good night. Oh, come on. Don't go, Julie. Just stay. Stay a little longer. Just don't go. Cedric does not scare me. Then you're a fool. Oh, I'm a fool? Yeah, please. How stupid would he be to come after me again? You know, cops would be on him like Puffy Combs on Jennifer Lopez. Oh, he just wants you gone. You know, I'm not gonna let him get away with what he did, not just to me, but to Valerie and to you. You're not even listening to what I'm saying, are you? No, I'm not gonna listen to what you're saying. Because bullies need to be stood up to. And I know that if we just stick together, I know we can win. Yeah, I agree. He's a good doctor, but I still think he's an arrogant... Ian! Company. You're back. I only need to say goodbye. I'm going to the hospital. Tonight? Yeah, I want to check on Leah, make sure she's all right. I'm sure she'll appreciate that. Anyway, thanks for letting me tag along. Oh, it was our pleasure. Wasn't it, sweetheart? Yes. Yeah, it was our pleasure. It wouldn't have been the same without you. I'm glad to oblige you. Well, you have to admit... <sighs> yeah, okay. I mean, he's kind of nice. What? What was that for? Well, I promised you a romantic candle to dinner for two, and instead you got something completely different. Oh. The most important thing is that we were together. Yeah, speaking of together, mm -hmm. can we go home now? Yes, please. Check, please. <laughs> Oh, I know. Why do we ask the hotel to, to make us up a lovely tea? They, they do a wonderful Ceylon Queen's blend. No, uh, Victor, no. I, I don't want tea. I don't need tea. I, if you want some, I... What I need is to ask you a question. All right. Okay. Um, it's, it's about when you kidnapped Kevin, when you took him as a boy. Oh. That. Uh, listen to... Did you ever think, you know, at any moment that this was a mistake, that maybe you were just going to take him right back? Did you ever think that? Oh, Lucy, the circumstances couldn't possibly be more different. I took Monk away from something that was truly horrendous. I, 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 I wouldn't have sent him back. But see, that wouldn't be true in Christina's case. I mean, Julie would be bringing her back to a place where she's wanted, a good place where she's loved and, and cared for, and, and where she would have a home. I wish, I, I, I wish so much that I could tell you what you want to hear, but the truth is, nobody can ever predict how anything is going to turn out. I'm just trying so hard. I, I can't seem to get even an inch past this, you know? I'm trying to go on with my life like everybody keeps saying I'm supposed to do, but... I, I just can't forget that she is out there somewhere. I... Of course you can, and you won't. But you can go on with your life. How? By knowing that no matter where they are, your children always stay with you, and no circumstance can ever change that. 
You know, I swear I have never seen anyone bounce back from surgery the way you have. <laughs> I told you, I, I had some things to take care of. And nothing's gonna stop me. On the next Port Charles. Gabrielle was too smart to have anything to do with you. She didn't seem that way at dinner last night. Don't you talk to me about killing. Well, somebody has to. Two medium pizzas with, uh, Karen. You're back. Who would think that there could be so much action in a small town as there is in Port Charles? But with love, money, and power at stake, the action may never end. Check out The Mayhem on Port Charles, coming up next on SoapNet. Once upon a time,